At this point, I've built a project with the MIT App Inventor 2, and you see I'm signed in with my Gmail account. But uh, so, so if I go back to this page, my project is still going to be there as long as I'm signed in. But let's say that I want to save the source of the project. Maybe I want to submit it as an assi assignment. I'm going to go to Projects, and I'm going to say select it, uh, Export Selected Project to my computer. And so we'll give it a moment. And you see that it's starting to download uh, this latest project, Add to List with Confirmation AIA, to my, to my computer. Now later, if I want to open this project, uh, I can simply say Import Project from my computer or import, import Project AIA from the repository. This will give me the project in an editable uh, form, in a way that I can open it up and, and I can edit it, I can make any changes to it that I want and save it again. Now let's say that I want to actually deploy the application. To deploy an application on the Play Store, we're going to need an APK file. I have a completely separate video that talks about how to upload an APK to the App Store and what all you need to put in the APK or what all you need to put in an App Store description. From here, you certainly can do that. You certainly can create an APK file. Uh, if we say save APK file to my computer, this is essentially the built project which is deployable. This is not something that we can edit. It's something that is compiled in a machine language that an Android device can run. So we'll go ahead and let this finish. And you see now with it finished, the APK file has downloaded. And this is something that I'm, I bring this up over in, in my downloads here. This is something now that I could upload to the uh, Google Play Store or any of the other Play Stores if I wanted. Additionally, for easy deployment, we can go to Build and then provide QR code for APK. And if we have a QR reader, uh, all we need to do is we need to scan the QR code with our phone and it will download the APK and install it on the phone. So the difference between the emulator, either on your phone or on the computer, and the APK file. The emulator is just showing your project while it's developed, but your project, or while it's being developed, but your project can't run independently. Uh, when you create the APK, the project can run outside of the emulator as a standalone app. So if you make an app, you want to give it to your parents and you know, any, any friends of yours to try out before you actually deploy it on the Play Store, you can give them something like this QR code or the APK. On Android phones, if the permission is set correctly, you can install an APK from a web link or from an attachment to an email, if you wish. Uh, that's a way that you can install an app before you've put it on the Play Store. You can also deploy it via the Play Store if you want. You can set up alpha testers and beta testers who will get uh, early access to it. So there are several ways to deploy your app. Uh, this is how you can make those deployable files uh, with App Inventor. Thank you.